Is genetics important for MMA success? And I say you have to have top level genetics to have the chance to become a champion. And now many people would argue that, now look at Fedor. What is with his genetics? Like he's even got a belly. Make no mistakes. He wouldn't have the ideal genetics for a bodybuilder. But your fighting genetics is not determined by low body fat. It's not, especially in the heavyweight division. Fedor has extraordinary genetics. He's extraordinarily strong and fast for a heavyweight. And that's not just training. Your genetics set the window and set what happens when you train. How much success, how much advantage will you get from training? Two people can have the exact same training, same weights, same exercises, same everything. And one of them will build muscle faster, will become quicker, will have more of the same training. So Fedor has top tire genetics. Top tire. Absolute fantastic genetics. Look at the way he can move. Look at how much and how hard he can train and recover from so much training. Look at the innate speed, movement, suppleness of that man. No, he's got top tight genetics and especially in heavyweight. Very few top level heavyweights have that low body fat genetics because low body fat is mostly for looks. It's very uh, small correlation to your fighting power. And in heavyweight, you have very little advantage of having low body fat because it doesn't matter if you have like five kilograms more fat. It matters in the lower weight class because if you have five kilograms more fat, you're in a higher weight class, but not in heavyweight. It doesn't matter. If you're 105 ripped or 110 with a little belly, it's okay. You even have a bit more water for a bit more endurance, a bit more mass, a bit more puffer. So it might even be an advantage. The reason we see some top level heavyweights with low body fat is mostly because some of them are on steroids. Others, high level, world class heavyweights have that little belly. Fedor, Daniel Cormier, even John Jones right now, they are not that low body fat. They are how world class heavyweight top tire genetics for fighting looks like.